I remember we had satyrs that were like ethnic conglomerations. There would be black people at satyrs and there were Hispanics and there were Catholics and Jews and every mix. We always had a very large satyr when we were kids growing up and, and uh, we'd probably have 30, 35 people uh, for satyrs and other times of year, but always at, at Passover. Uh, my dad was really, he, he was always interested in bringing more people in to learn about Judaism and that was a great way and there were customers and there were writers for the newspaper. Steve Otto used to come to Passover, he and his wife later on after they were married um, and other writers at the newspaper. So it, it was always an interesting household to live in um, because there were people coming and going all the time. I mean, uh, my parents had a, a couple who s were good friends, but they were a gay couple, uh, two men. And that was, you know, outrageous. And, and Gray and Sonny were in our house whenever they came to town. And they uh, sold antiques, and my parents bought antiques from them. But it wasn't that they were, they were personal friends, and they were there like anybody else, you know. That was unusual, but it was, it, so it was always kind of different. Then I'd go to somebody else's house, and of course, it was like the South was. Satyrs at our house were always raucous, and they still are raucous. This year, I think we were 19 at my son's house, and we had always used uh, the books that we used, the, the Haggadahs that we used through childhood and everything. And my father had the worst handwriting the worst handwriting of anyone I've ever known. But in the margins of the Haggadahs were the names of some of the people who he was going to ask to read. And so you would see everybody in the family's name, but you would also see Steve Otto's name, and you would see all kinds of names that you hadn't, I mean, people you didn't even remember anymore. Um, and so every year that was a time for, you know, we'd start to laugh years and years later uh, because we were still using the books. This year, the books could not be found and it happened that they got boxed up when my niece moved from Tampa to, to Washington, D.C. and they're boxed up in D.C. so we, we had to get new ones and it wasn't quite the same. 